this is Jamie with Passionate Penny Pincher and I am back. I'm here in my kitchen and as I have promised you guys earlier, if you were with me at the Zacon Chicken Pickup at the church, um, I'm now back home and we're going to open up that box and see what that chicken looks like and we're going to also talk about some ways that um, I'm going to prep ours for our family but um, I'll, we'll also give some ideas of other ways that you might want to use your chicken and if you want to put it in the freezer. But first, Let's check out the box. This is the chicken unboxing. My kids are big on YouTube and, and unboxing is apparently fun to watch. So here we go. My son's going to get it out for me because I'm a little bit wimpy. I don't want to lift anything too heavy. And this, this is a big box. Okay, I'm going to switch it to front mode for a second. Okay, so this is what 40 pounds of chicken looks like. It is not too big to fit in my fridge, which I'm happy about. So I'm gonna let my son hold this so that I can show you how, how it um, looks inside. Okay, you get over there. Okay, let's scooch it over here. Alright, so first thing to notice is that it's not just a bunch of leaky chicken in this cardboard box. It's nicely protected with an outer bag, this blue bag here. So that's cool. And then inside the blue bag, and I have washed my hands, but there are four of these 10 pound bags here, which as you can see have these nice large breasts inside of them. Uh, the date of packaging, the 6-20-2017. So that was packaged, that was packaged um, Tuesday, and it's Thursday. So as you, as you, we were talking about earlier how they cut out the middleman, well, Zacon also has the freshest meat because it doesn't sit in storage places um, like other meat does. So we also have on hand all of these freezer bags and... Um, some smaller quart freezer bags. In the big freezer bags, I'm planning to do a, do a couple of freezer meals, not a couple. I'll do a lot of freezer meals. And then in the um, smaller ones, I'm gonna go ahead and just put two breasts in each quart size bag so that they're uh, a little faster to thaw out on nights when I'm not sure what I wanna do for dinner. So um, we're gonna talk about some of the ways to prep 40 pounds of chicken, but first, Let's open up the package and see oh, what it looks like. I'm gonna get a big bowl, hold on. Okay. So. I'm just going to slice open this bag into the bowl, and we'll go from there. You don't have to get too close up on this. I mean, raw chicken is not the most delightful thing to look at. Ooh. And then in a second, I'll take out a piece and lay it out so you can see up close and personal what it looks like. Uh, I know I have, um, I actually watched a few videos about how to prep your chicken. They suggested bleaching out your sink and doing it in there. You definitely could do that. But um, my sink still has some dishes in it, so I'm going to use this bowl. Alright, let's investigate how this chicken looks. Alright, um, y'all, I'm going to do this for Lori. This is a tribute to Lori who hates to touch raw chicken, and I don't really care, but, but Lori, this one's for you. I'm going to use these tongs. Okay. Wow. This is massive. Like, super, super massive. Okay, this is one butterfly-style chicken breast. And, James, if you want to get a little closer to this one... So that people can see up close. See how thick it is? It's very thick. 
And I will be trimming it up a little bit, trimming off some of the fat, and I will be cutting it in half. And it comes with these extra pieces. That's like the tenderloin, I guess maybe that's called. Chicken tenderloins. So I'm going to trim it up. I'm going to trim off the extra. And I'm not wasting this extra. I am going to take all the extra bits that have fat and maybe some rib meat on them. And um, I am going to brown it and turn it into chicken stock. So, not wasting it, but um, it's going to make a really yummy uh, stock. I can use it for my chicken noodle soup that I plan to make some freezer meals for that. And I can use it for, um, oh, I don't know. You can always use chicken broth, right? I use chicken broth for all sorts of things. So, okay, you can get back. <laughs> I don't want y'all to get too grossed out just staring at this close-up chicken meat for too long. So, if I were going to take this and freeze it and not really prep it in any way, I would cut it into a few pieces that will thaw out faster. And then I'm going to place it in a quart size bag. And I'm going to double bag it because I've heard that, that what, if you don't have a food saver, follow me over here. If you don't have a food saver, and I don't, then uh, double bagging it in the freezer bags can really help prevent from getting freezer burn. So that's how I'm going to do probably 5 pounds of my 40. Maybe 10 pounds of my 40. Um, another 10 pounds of my 40, I've asked my husband if he will devote an evening to grilling a whole lot of our chicken on the grill and seasoning it with um, a couple of different kinds of spices. Then I can use those in meals all summer long. We can use them for uh, soups and salads and uh, we can use them for, we can shred them up at the last minute for tacos or all sorts of stuff. Over here, this is um, plan B. <laughs> this is what I'm going to do with 10 pounds of my chicken is I'm going to make Mississippi chicken. And I know that sounds like a lot of Mississippi chicken, but you guys do not understand how much my family loves Mississippi chicken. So if you have never made Mississippi chicken, all you need to do is lay a couple of chicken breasts in your crock pot. Put about eight of these pepperoncini peppers on top and about a half a stick of butter on top. And because I'm doing 10 pounds, I'm going to put five breasts into each uh, crock pot. I'm going to put a stick of butter into each crock pot and a whole bunch of these peppers because my family loves these peppers. Then you put um, a package of ranch and a package of au jus seasoning per every two or three breasts. So we're going to do that later. We're going to have it for dinner tonight on slider buns. And then the rest of it, I'm going to freeze in Ziploc bags. So I'll have like four ready to go meals. And we serve the Mississippi chicken on top of those big baked potatoes. We have like a potato bar night. So you can, you can spoon the Mississippi chicken on it, or you can put bacon bits and cheese and sour cream or whatever you want to put on it. So we, we serve it over that. We serve it over rice. You could serve it over a pile of mashed potatoes or a pile of egg noodles. Um, but yeah, so we're going to have that tonight, and then I'll have enough extra to make like four extra meals. My family really loves that. Another thing I'm planning to do is to boil, um, I don't know, maybe, maybe five of the breasts I'm going to boil. And when they're done, I'm just going to shred them up so that they are ready for chicken salad. Um, they're not really going to have any certain seasoning because they'll just be open for whatever the dish ends up being. So chicken salad or I'll make chicken quesadillas one night. We can have barbecue one night and all I have to do is thaw that out and mix some barbecue sauce in it. So that'll be really easy meals. Um, I have read about a recipe and this is my first time trying it. You guys, please tell me if you've heard of this recipe. And while, we're, while I'm looking for this stuff... Would you give me a heart or a like if you can see this, if you can hear it, um, and also if you know of anybody who you think would be interested in buying this Zaycon bulk meat and doing some freezer planning, doing some meal prep with it, if you would share it with them, that would be awesome. So I read this recipe, I think it was one of you guys in our Dinner's Done group who said that they take chicken breast and put it in a pan and fill the pan with Italian dressing 
and bake it, I don't remember for how long, they said it's so good. And I guess because this has vinegar in it, that it breaks down like a marinade, it breaks the chicken down and helps it to soften up. But this is um, a roasted red pepper Italian. And my family likes red pepper. We do a roasted red pepper um, chicken and bow tie pasta dish that they really like. So I thought I would do ooh, maybe six chicken breasts in a pan with this. And that will be seasoned up already so I can do that um, bow tie pasta dish on the fly. I'll just cook it in the oven and then I'll cube it up. And guys, that's going to be all my chicken. I'm going to be done. I'm going to be done with all my chicken. I will probably put some, uh, like I said, some two-pack breasts in quart size bags. That's what I'm going to do right now. So I've got these freezer uh, these freezer quart size bags at Food Lion. They're buy one, get one free this week until Wednesday at Food Lion. That would be a penny pincher. And this is two massive chicken breasts that I've cut into more manageable pieces so that they don't take a hundred years to thaw when I pull them out later on. So I'm gonna put these in this. I wonder how much, I wish I'd thought to get a food scale. Then uh, one of our readers suggested that they uh, weigh theirs and write it on the freezer bag, which is so smart because that way when they're making a crock pot meal that says two pounds of chicken, they look in their freezer and they know exactly which bag to pull out. So that's super genius. And I did not think that far ahead. Whoever that was, thumbs up to you. You, you win for the smart comment of the day. All right, that's all I'm going to be able to fit in this. And I believe that this is probably, I believe that this is probably about, um, it's close to two pounds. Yeah, I'm just going to stop at that. That's close to two pounds. And that won't be too terribly hard to thaw out. So I'm going to squeeze all the air out that I can. And um, zip it shut, and then I'm going to double bag it to prevent as best as I can the freezer burn because it's not really a great deal. A dollar forty-seven is what this costs per pound, but that's not a great deal if you lose half of your chicken from freezer burn. So we want to protect it. If you have a food saver, that's great. Uh, I don't have one of those. And then I'm going to write on it. Um, two pounds, maybe three. <laughs> Not perfect. Maybe three. Two pounds, maybe three, and then the date is six twenty-two seventeen. So that is going to go in my freezer. And let me show you. I've got one shelf devoted. Now we've got two shelves devoted. And I really think that's going to be enough for all 40 pounds. Let's see. Let's see how well we can fit it in there. Yeah, and then we've just got one bag left, part of which has already been processed and, and bagged up. So I think that's going to be no problem at all. So if don't, you don't need a chest freezer. If you're intimidated to do this deal because you don't have a chest freezer, I wouldn't worry about it. I think this is, this is super easy to fit in your freezer. So, all right, I am going to take over the camera and see if we have any questions or comments. Y'all, I'm kind of out of breath. All right. <laughs> That's some heavy chicken to be hauling around. Okay, so if you have any questions or comments about this chicken, if you will ask them now, then I can probably see them down here. And um, hopefully one of, my, one of my teammates is in the support role answering your all's questions um, already in there. I don't think I gave him a very good heads up. But um, once again, this is what the chicken looks like in the box. Very large, good quality. I've taken it out and put some of it in this bowl. See? Instead of my sink, because I didn't want to bleach out my sink. And um, I'm cutting off the extra 
and I'm gonna make a chicken stock out of it. These little pieces here, we don't want them to go to waste. I also have an adorable, adorable dog named Bandit who's a Border Collie and he really likes my chicken scraps too, so he might get lucky tonight. Okay, well since it doesn't look like we have any questions, let me just remind you of the code that you can use to get the best deal. Um, you want to use the code at the top, it is NEW22, and if you are a new Zacon chicken, or Zacon user, and this is your first order, then you will get 22% off your first order. Now, chicken won't be coming back around till October, so, but you can go ahead and order that. What is coming up soon is ground beef, uh, that's early July, and shrimp is after that and ground turkey is after that. And I remember the ground turkey price was gonna be $1.70 a pound after code new 22, and the ground beef price was gonna be $2.95 a pound after the code. Now that seems like that's not a great price for ground beef, but that is um, super lean ground beef. Very high quality, no fillers, um, just really quality ground beef. So, I encourage you to share this with anyone you think who could benefit from a great deal on meat and um, with anyone you know who does freezer meals or does that once a month uh, cooking this is perfect this just goes hand in hand with freezer meals or once a month cooking or if they have a lot of kids I have four boys plus my husband um, two of them are teenagers and they eat through food like crazy so they're super super um, hungry hungry hippos <laughs> and um, and so I, I know I will use this chicken up really fast but um, so please share, and um, yeah, if y'all have any questions or comments, I'll get to them. If I have not already addressed them, and um, thank you so much for watching. Y'all have a great day. Bye.